welcome to the channel. My name is Piotr Kowalczyk and in today's video we are exploring a chat mode. Definition of the chat mode, four methods of adjustments by algorithm equal length slices, slices based on the tempo and insert slices at location you desire, tour guide around the chat window and of course link slices. In the end of the day we're going to convert the whole music. Chap mode divides sample into multiply regions called slices. This technique has been recommended by so many people to address larger files of music you download or record into the sampler. You divide the sample into multiply regions called slices. This mode allows me to distribute the wealth of the sound through my path selection. Since we have eight separate banks and each bank includes 16 different paths, we can store a lot of music samples into our paths. Music, it's a journey. It's built from layers. Each layer gets its own rewards and challenges. Our goal is to enjoy it all. Previously, we composed the music for that video. We used the program, we used the trim mode to address that music sample. Today, we are chopping it through the chop mode. Before it happens, let's take a listen what we have here. You have a button in the lower left corner, what says trim. It has a dual function. When we tap this button one more time, it changes to chap and now welcome to chap mode. We are directly in chap mode now. In chap mode window, we are dealing with four different methods. Manual, threshold, regions, beats per minute. Beats per minute divides a sample into several slices based on the tempo. Regions, this method divides a sample into several slices of equal length. Threshold, this method uses an adjustable detection algorithm that devices the number of slices created from the volume levels present in the sample. And of course, our favorite manual lets you insert slices in a selection you select. Four different options to choose from. Remember, in order to use successfully these methods, we will have to prep that music sample extremely well. Let's start with the BPM method. This method divided a sample into several slices based on the tempo. Beats per minute. The tempo. The tempo beats per minute. I can use the bar field to change the amount of slices, which means I can multiply them 
from 60 from 16 to 32. If I continue, I get additional 16. Which means the computer creates another bank. And if I continue, there will be another bank available full of samples. So now we've got four banks. Just remember, be aware that the computer divides the slices based on the tempo. It means that the beginning and end of every single slice it's gonna be affected by it. The next step, a regions method. This method divides the sample into several slices of equal length. It's not gonna work if we don't do a prep work in our trim mode, which means this music sample has to be beautifully prepped. The amount of bar, the starting point, the end point, all these processing factors. Once we have perfectly selected section you want, now this regions method makes perfect sense. Why is that? It's gonna slash our music right on the middle. It's going to divide the first section on the middle, second section on the middle, first quarter of the first section on the middle, and so on, so on, so on. So basically, a computer treats uh, our music sample this way. Thanks to this method, we achieve totally different sound result. Okay, I hit regions, and now from 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You see, like slowly, slowly, we kind of add additional slices, but in equal length. Threshold method measures our slices based on the volume of the recording. It's going to find those peaks of each segment, of each moment, and basically create a mark. Now, thanks to these marks, you see when you look at the screen, these marks are not identical. They are in a different length, and what makes the difference is that, you know, distance, like each part, it's going to respond slightly different. These three methods got slightly different approach. The same material, but you control it in a three different ways already. I use these parts to come up with the new music ideas, which means they all will impact my imagination in a different way. So I wouldn't just ignore these methods and go straight to manual method because this is what I've been doing for all my life. Okay, because these methods kind of bring a new way of thinking about the same music and your music creation. Manual. I use the parts to slice the material the way I desire. Let's take a look what else it's available on that screen.
screen. Let's talk about link slices. There is a bunch of good news coming our way. First of all, every time when we slice something, it's not permanent until we convert it. Even though we convert it, you still you can adjust these slices. Now, because you sliced it and adjusted the slices, it doesn't mean that you ruined the original sample of the music. It's still there, untouched. That's a beautiful thing about it. Okay? All right. Secondly, there is something called link slices. The best way to present link slices button is through our manual method. You see in the manual method, we divide it, uh, our music piece, into slices based on our feel and our own like it. There was no rules whatsoever. We just decided to slice it here and there. Okay, which means the slices are not the same length and not based on the volume or BPM. I select one of these slices and turns out they are not perfectly fit. I can change that by adjusting the beginning and the end of that slice. But you see when we have link sliced engaged, th these adjustments will influence uh, one slice before that slice and one after. So automatically I influence these three sections by doing this. Okay, if I turn it off, now these slices become independent. So I can adjust this slice, this slice, and then thanks to this, I kind of didn't have an impact on the slices before and after. That's the difference. You see, sometimes when we slash things, we just realize, oh, I slashed it wrong, I didn't mean it, or I missed the opportunity to kind of put another slice. This box helps us to make additional adjustments. To be as clear as possible, we are using a BPM method of our previously sliced material. Now, we selected uh, puzzle number 12. And now this glue and scissor icon, what it does, it allows us to split the region into two equal pieces or combine with previous. And of course, there's a back uh, button what rolls you back to, to normal without any changes. So once again, I hit that icon and now I say, let's let, let just split it. So I've got two buttons, split and combine, split. So now this previously selected region 12 is di divided to two separate pieces. Let's just undo it. And now when I hit the glue and scissor icon once again, uh, this time we're going to select combine. And now... I've got 11, twice as long. Okay, so split, it splits the current selected region into two equal slices, combine, this combines the currently selected region with the one before it. And of course the back button, this closes the window. Our magnifying glass is on on our screen. This allows us to scroll the data, to stretch the data, to basically make those adjustments and fly. Now, when we hit Erase button, this allows us to erase some of the regions. Like, I don't want this one, this one. So basically you tap the regions you don't want. Let's just re redo this. Now, if I decide to add additional regions, I just create this pencil and just tap between. Hmm. Hmm. Well done. Let me see it. Of course, I can work on a starting point, end point, 
of that new selected material and call it a day. When we have link slices on, my adjustments will influence the one slice before and one after. We can always roll back to the very beginning. If something goes wrong and you want to start over, you hit shift and then press clear all. You are at the starting point of your chopping. Let's chop it again. Before you discharge any of these methods, I would just fool around with them as long as you need and basically just choose your favorite in the end. Now these slices are ready to go, so let's just stick to the manual. Now you hit shift and you say convert. We are going to take the subject of convert window to a separate video. It deserves its own time. But today I'm gonna choose path parameters. Why I choose it and what I choose it coming soon. Okay? And you press you can create the events, no problem. Um leave it open for now. Do it. We go to main. As you see, this is a brand new project. There's noth nothing in it. The track, let's just say au audio sample. And then we are going to find that 100 wishes RC. You transfer that audio sample into your sampler. You recorded it. Then you distribute it through different modes. Chop mode is the last mode before converting it into path uh, parameters. Exactly. Make sure that before you do anything, that music sample fits the tempo of your sequence. So if you have a sequence in 120, make sure that your music sample is 120 as well. Sometimes 60, depends how you count it. But it's the same number if you double it. Okay, so I want to make sure that this music sample is in the same tempo. If it's not, you are going to love my very next video because we are going to discuss how to stretch the music and how to, how to warp, warp the music into your project. We already converted manual version into slices. Threshold, the same thing. So now regions. Convert. New drum set. So now we go to main and we're going to create audio sample three, if you don't mind. Audio sample number three. And then we are going to find that. Excellent. Now we go to sample edit, BPM method, shift, convert, do it. 
main audio sample for unused audio sample for and we are going to find it huh. so look what happened under audio track we've got manual version Under audio 2, we've got threshold method. See, they impact my imagination in a different way. Okay. Audio 3 track, regions method. And of course, audio, audio 4 stands for BPM. So they all impact me in a different way. As a composer, you want to kind of Keep your senses open, your heart vulnerable, and search for a certain vibe. Once you find that vibe, you just grab it and you develop the music around that sensation. So this is a great way of kind of uh, seeing the potential of your music piece. Once you find that favorite one, you can eliminate the rest of them. Because these tracks are very quickly, you can very quickly substitute them with something else. Our final destination, of course, is to flip this music into a hip-hop piece. Jazz into hip-hop. Of course, our time with each other is limited, so we're going to move that subject to the next video. Until then, my name is Piotr Kowalczyk. See you next time.